Hi everyone and welcome back to a new week, right? Let's get started. 24th of June. We're going around the world from Aries to Pisces and let's see what's happening. Okay. Aries. If your sun sign doesn't resonate, check your moon or natal without question. Wow, look at this. Hmm. This is like the thief, right? The thief that stole money, didn't pay you what you were worth, pretended, the pretender, right? The joke, the, this is the joke, or not the joker, the, uh, in Batman, the Riddler. Someone riddled you a song about money and didn't want to pay. You may be going to a lawyer. You may be dealing with a lawyer, a financial advisor, a... You know, this was a schemer. I don't feel this is external to you, but it could be. Someone's not, someone has been withholding money, information. This guy knows. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you're dealing with a Taurus and or an Aquarian, who didn't pay you what you were, right? They're, they're, they owe you money. They didn't pay you what you were worth. You worked your butt off and they didn't give you the money that you were owed. But a Gemini Libra Aquarius is very aware that someone ripped you off. And you know what, Aries? Because, you know, literally, we like to look at Sometimes we like to look at situations with people when it comes to their integrity, their character, their, you know, their honesty or dishonesty. We sometimes tend to, you know, we know, right? We know people have tried to pull the wool over our eyes, so to speak, right? We know that they've done it. But Aries, sometimes we don't want to acknowledge if you owe money, if you owe someone money and you're trying to get away with not paying them. Someone's trying to get away with not having to pay. It could be paying a Gemini Libra Aquarius. It could be the Gemini Libra Aquarius has always known that you were dealing or you've been dealing with that, you know, that thief. Someone learned a lot from it, but it's kind of like the damage was done or the damage has been done, right? The damage has been done. We have six and seven, right? So... Someone owes you money. You need to pay them. They need to pay you. It could be in the form of, I'm not going to say six figures. No, I don't feel that. I feel that maybe within the next, this week, someone who owes you money may, may contact you and say, here's the money I owe you or here's, a portion of the money I owe you. Someone may say I feel bad about it, but let's look how bad they feel with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone knows, right? The damage is already done, right? It's already happened. This already happened, right? Maybe you lent money to someone, for some of you, Aries. Maybe you lent money to someone or they lent money to you. And they're like, you know what? All I wanted maybe was let's, you know, could you offer up a, you know, a plan 
could you offer up some kind of a financial plan? Um, I feel someone is saying that to you or you them. Like, you know, increments. The damage is done, though. I'm just going to say right now. Someone knows the integrity of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, owing money, not paying, taking money or giving it to you and saying, I knew you weren't going to give it back to me or I knew you didn't have it. Right? Yeah. Someone, and, and people know. Here's the thing. People know. People know that something happened, that, that this happened. People are very well aware and or Aries, you've made it very well aware or they have. You have two sixes, right? So it is. If this is a relationship, this is like, you know what? Some of you called out or they called you out to the carpet saying, listen, Here's the deal, especially if you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? This relationship has to be on the up and up or it can't be at all kind of vibe. Like I need to know that you're, you know, that what we, the vision that we have for the future from here on in, we've already been through this, right? We've been through the tornado. Now it's time for growth. It's time to give and receive. It's time to help each other out, right? It's like maybe someone Aries wasn't ready then and now they're ready. They, are, they could be seen in the public eye. I lost myself for a while. You and or the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone could have lost a job, right? And didn't want to fess up. It's, it could be that simple, but it's not that simple. Especially when you're dealing with a masculine, right? You're dealing with a masculine who owes money, who needs to give you money. People know, people are watching. People literally, I, I feel strongly that people know that someone owes and they're very well aware that, okay, well, okay, so I lost myself for a while. I got maybe some of you are dealing with a masculine Gemini Libra Aquarius that got involved in, you know, um, money swindling. I hear making, making bad decisions financially, you know, I'm even going to go to the, cause I hear it, Bitcoin or something of that nature where they thought maybe they could get rich quick kind of scheme kind of thing, right? The pyramid that's hasn't, you know, you know, a, a scheme such as, well, if you invest in this, you'll be on the rise to get that and that didn't happen or it's really and truly as simple as someone owing money and not being able to pay you know anything so it's all about the money for Aries some of you are going to seek a lawyer you're paying like you're paying like a lawyer, you know, just like a, I don't mean it to be mean to say like a no name. You're just paying someone a small amount, right? To go to court to say someone owes you that money. All right, let's go. Taurus, let me know. Aries, literally comment. Let me know. All right. So Taurus, we have the devil reversed and a, you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Cap. 
So whoever, whomever has walked away, they dealt with a lot of toxicity, like emotional manipulation is what I first, when I first saw these two together. I'm like someone escaped someone's, like someone being their bitch, really, right? Like someone was really honorable, like Aries is here, Leo Sage. Someone just said, I'm done. I'm out. I'm not going to be used and or abused. Right? This is the full moon, which we just had the strawberry moon in cap. Someone could have an Aries Leo Sag that walked away from them and it's like sealed the deal, right? It's like, I'm, I'm gone. They may have been gone for a while, maybe up to eight months they've been gone or you've been gone, right? Right, since you've been gone, right? I hear that song, That's isn't that Kelly Clarkson? Okay. Yeah, since you've been gone. Look at that. Six to eight months, someone's been gone from a relationship that was toxic, a friendship, a partnership in business. Someone's like, I'm out. I feel, and I'm going to say it, Taurus, I feel like a Leo Aries Sag said, I'm, I'm gone, I'm out. I'm not emotionally and or mentally vested any longer. All right, let me take another card they want. They want one more. Look at that. All right, so I'm telling you, I wasn't going there because Aries got the king of swords. And now that you have the king, I'm pretty sure this is the king or the queen, it doesn't matter. I feel you have, I feel that Aries, if you're a, or sorry, Taurus, if you're an Aries Taurus cusper, this is your read as well. You should watch Aries read. That's if you are, okay? Someone was a thief about money, owing money, but here, this is about the finality. I'm not going to be chained and or bound or linked to someone maybe LinkedIn, be, maybe you're on LinkedIn, right? And you're, you know, they can see you or they see you s searching for a job or another job. Maybe someone hears through the grapevine that you're looking for a job or someone to work for your company, something like this with regard to someone who left I don't feel that someone's coming back, but they could. You know what? Let me get one real quick card on the Six of Swords because this does look like they're coming back to offer up, right? Maybe why they walked away. Maybe someone's commuting, communicating to you that, that you walked away from them or them to you as to why they walked away. Six of Swords, please. Yeah, look at, like someone lives at a distance, another moon here, another moon. All right, you could have had, Taurus, you could have been visited by an Aries Leo Sag, right? Where the relationship was not 100%, it was toxic, but now someone could be coming back and saying, wait a second, or a queen of swords or king of swords, whatever. I want, maybe, I want to start over. Let's see what the, the um, hidden truth says. I want you. There it is. Okay. So, someone could be coming back to tell you, I want you, or you, them. It looks like a mask. Look at it, and on the bottom is, I love you. Look at that. 
Someone, Taurus, is saying, I want you, I love you. They're coming back to tell you this. And if you do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you walked away from, you may be contacting them to tell them, I want you and love you. And I no longer want to have this relationship or friendship or partnership and work, whatever, be toxic. I want it to be on the up and up. So really and truly, Taurus, watch Aries read because that's very similar read, if not the absolute same. They did have issues of balancing out the relationship has to be on equal ground. So you should check it out. And comment, please, because shouldn't we be talking about it? And that's for everyone. Okay, let's go to Gemini. Gemini, look at this. The Hermit and the Nine of Coins. Wow. And the Emperor. Wow. This is beautiful. So you've been really quiet. Some of you Geminis have been really on the quiet end. You know, not really talking about, not really wanting to, to reveal some stuff. Like if you're worried about money or if you have money or if maybe someone feels that you know, you're really well-to-do, right, Gemini? But you don't show it. Some of you do and some of you don't. I mean, there's, there's a polarity here. Some of you are smart enough. I'm going to say it, Gemini. Some of you are really smart. What you show on the outside is not necessarily what's on the inside, which isn't a duality. It is a merging there's an emergence of, I know what I have, how I feel about myself. I'm very confident. I do have the financial means. I am financially independent, but I don't need to show the world. Maybe the world sees you like that, Gemini, but you don't show or you don't need to show that to the world to find your own value. Someone really values you. I'll tell you right now, Gemini, if you're dealing with an Aries or a Virgo or Taurus Cap, I mean, you have someone who really admires and vice versa, admires you. I mean, we have two masculine and a feminine, right? Maybe two people are vying for your attention one of them does it like really, you know, on the backdrop, right? They're behind the scenes and another does it, you know, so everyone can see. Do you know what I mean? I, I find these two really interesting because they're so different. Yet, when you merge an Aries with a Virgo, you get that someone really strong, smart, the great intellect, great work ethics as well, I hear. And, and yet so um, somewhat reserved, right? Very reserved about what maybe they spend their money or how they spend their money. You know, it's really smart. Smart business ethics. Oh, and we have two nines, right? This kind of flipped. I saw it. So strawberry full moon in Capricorn is like, okay. I've seen some of you, if this is you, if this is you, Gemini, some of you have been like, you know what? I've seen enough. I know what I need to do. I don't need to shout it out. I can be very 
the power, the power is in the silence about what you want, where you're headed. It's about silent, silent knowing. That's what this is. Silent knowing that what you rightfully, rightfully are deserving of doesn't need to come from external uh, value as much as internal. This is a really beautiful depiction of external, internal valuing of self. And, and knowing, knowing yourself, knowing your power, your power is silent. When I, I'm going to just say it, because if you're like watching for a Gemini, you're involved, right, with a Gemini. But I'm going to tell you right now, when a Gemini becomes powerful in silence, watch out for sure. I don't react when people mention you. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. People, if people are inquiring, right? They want to know what's going on, Gemini or an Aries or Virgo, right? Taurus, Capricorn. Like, what are you doing with so-and-so? What's going on? What's the future look like? You know, all these questions. And you're like, hush. Silenced. You're silencing those people who are way too inquisitive for their own good. Maybe they want to know what you're working on, where you're headed, what are you doing, blah, 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 right? And it's like, mm, I'm not spilling. But I have a plan. And they know it. It's good. I like that read, actually. <laughs> okay. Cancers. 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 What's happening here is a time of healing. Phoenix rising, for sure. So death, rebirth and heal, you know, and authenticity. Wow. This is death, rebirth, and the authenticity of the self. I love it. The snake, the dragon. So let's talk. For some of you, Cancerians, the transformation of what has been the unknown. We go from the unknown to the known, right? To a hopeful future, to authenticity. This is the, this is the dark night of the soul. So, you should, if you haven't already, if you're aware that you're going through some ascension symptoms, they're right here. These are assumption, ascension symptoms, whereby, you know, you're hearing ringing in the ears, um, vision getting blurred, um, ailments in the body, confusion, um, there's so many, you know, sometimes, and, and you should literally listen to, right? Listen to the things that have been ailing you. And, and whatever symptoms 
that you have had in your body are being healed now so that you can move forward and now like okay let's go so you're right at the precipice of change in term in terms of healing your body this is also like i said death rebirth and ascension to a higher consciousness without question and it's beautiful and sometimes we do and i'm going to say it again please don't jump into, you know, I'm not telling you medically, not offering any medical advice, but I am telling you as a spiritual guidance counselor that a lot of symptoms that go on during ascension in our body does not require medicine of the Western, Western medicine. It doesn't require a script. So be mindful of that. It's a heads up, I'm just saying. If you have aches and pains, take a magnesium bath. Take an Epsom salt bath. Drink more water. You're really purifying your, your body, but if these this symptoms that you've had in your body that you're healing from is ascension. And that, that's why I was having a hard time saying it because don't assume assumptions that's what I heard. You've been, some of you, it's an assumption that, oh my God, I need to go to the chiropractor. I need to go to the doctor. I my this, my that hurts. But it's not that. It is the dark night of the soul moving through your Kundalini rising to awaken some of you, your chakras are being opened up, awakened, and for healing purposes. That's what it's about. I love this. This is beautiful, Cancers. Literally, look. This is. And you've been fighting it. Some of you have been going against the grain. Why? Don't go against the grain. These changes that are happening in your life, they're for your highest good. Your higher self is right here saying, hey, cancers, take it easy. Work through, work through the physical ailments of the body. Some of you have burning feet. Some of you have, um, you may have thought, you know, oh my God, it, I feel like I can't taste anything. I feel like I, I still have COVID or they're convincing you that, you know, they, society convinced everyone that, you know, these flu-like symptoms were from COVID when they, when everyone now, in hindsight, what are they saying? It's not really, the virus is, is just a flu virus. So that's why I'm saying here, don't be, the unknown ailments of your body are from ascend, ascension symptoms and they can, are continuing for me to say assumption. Do not assume that something is wrong with you. The physical ailments are ascension symptoms. If you need me to help you, I will. I'm here. Really, look. That's the hermit. This is the sage. This is when you go from unknown through the Kundalini rising to the known of the higher self, higher consciousness, right? You are freeing yourself. You see the hawk there? That, or the dove, sorry. The hawk, the dove. It fly, the flying off of, off the hermit's hand is freedom and being enlightened. You are going through or have been going through the dark night of the soul. <clears throat> I did I say Cancers? Scorpio you're dealing with. Leo, Aries, Sag, Virgo, Aquarius. 
seriously. Don't be misled. I want to tell you how I feel. Okay, so the body is telling you how you feel. This is the body. This is the embodiment of what you're going through. Death, the unknown, to the knowing, your body speaking to you and telling you, look within, go within. My body is my navigation system. So I want to tell you how I feel is your body saying, okay, don't freak out, cancers. Don't freak out because you're learning how your body is speaking to you in order to navigate what's going on internally and externally. That's why we have internally and externally. So listen to how your body is speaking to you. Again, if you need my guidance for ascension symptoms so that you don't, you know, start, let's just say, oh my God, it's, it's high blood pressure. You know, I'm freaking out. They tell me I have to take these pills for the rest of my life. All right. If you're on a spiritual journey, that's probably a hard no. Because you already know that whatever is ailing your body, your body speaking, know the language of body. And I'm not talking body language. I'm talking the internal language of the body. Much different. Okay. And working through that, even when it scares you, work through that, right? Your body is just the vessel, but it's not just a vessel, it's your temple. So maybe some of you, and I have to say this, some of you Cancerians are like not connected. You're disconnected from your body and what it's saying to you. And so you're not able to work through you're not work. You can't work through it because you're fearful of what it might be saying, which means get more insight. Work through it. Look at this full strawberry moon that we just had is Capricorn. Capricorn's the father, and you just had that. And this death card came out for a reason again. Not because you're dying, but because what you don't realize is when we don't have the knowledge, that doesn't give us the power to work through it. So work through it and see what your body is saying to you, revealing, right? And that coincides, right? Your body speaks and your head from, from your mind-body connection, your higher consciousness is saying, you got to like learn about what's happening here. So as an example, if you're worried about finances, your back's going to hurt you. Lower, lower more than anything. It's a heavy burden. I'm, I'm around. Just let me know if you need me. All right, let's go. Leos. Ooh, Leos. Way keeping to yourself. Strawberry full moon. Again, the father is speaking, you guys. Capricorn's dad, the father. Our father, the father image um, of... What a father does, a father's discipline, a father's uh, protection. So you are, Leos, definitely dealing with some, you have some knowledge coming in or you're reading up on something that is changing the whole trajectory of your physical self. Maybe your, this is body and mind. 
and you, you are looking into someone's physical health or mental health. Maybe you're inquiring about, or you already know, you already know. Yep, look it. All right, so you're Leos. There are some, there are a couple of options with regard to what you're learning about in terms of your physicality, your body here. Again, Leo had this, but not in the sense that different from um, different from cancers, let's say. Cancerians are learning to work through the fear of the unknown, of the connection of mind, body, soul, right? Whereas Leo is using their not their intellect per se, you already know that when your body, you know what your body's saying or someone's telling you about the body. You know about the body, something about someone's body, what they were thinking, you already know. Like you're intuitively being guided using your intuition about what you need to know, how you, people may be asking you, how do you know that, Leo? And you're going to say, I just know. Yeah, look at that. You're going to find out, Leos, listen up. You're going to find out about information about a body, a body, I'm ki not kidding you. And it's going to bring you justice. And look it, They're, they know, I'm telling you right now, look, no one is opening their eyes here. Someone is working behind the scenes. This is behind the scenes. This is like an investigation. Someone's gathering information behind the scenes. About one's health, one's body, the emotional, I digress. It could be, it could be not just mental and emotional, but also physical. So the mind, body, soul connection, Someone already knows how to, some of you already know how to engage in the Kundalini, right? You already know it, how your body speaks to you, but someone is investigating different, a body. Invest, maybe like, okay, so I'm hearing, um, what is it? An autopsy. Someone's autopsy. They want information on the autopsy. And this is going to clear. It's going to go through the courts. Someone's going to get like, you know, this is like, I just need to know what, what is going on in the autopsy because I need it for the case, there's a case and you already know, but you do need facts and figures to go to court with. Something's for sure going on here. One more card for Leo's. Wow, Leo's, what is going on? Yeah, look at that. Someone, all right, for others, you're going to court about someone owing you money, making your money. Maybe you're getting a trademark copyrighted. You're copywriting something. You're trademarking an idea a collaboration of people 
and you're doing a background check for others, someone looks really good on the external, Leos. Someone looks really sexy, right? And you're like, I need to get to the bottom of this. Because you kind of know. You kind of know that maybe a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, like there's, there's, it's like there's more than meets the eye here. Like they really look good on the external, like they're really sexy, right? And st stable and sexy and all that good stuff. They look good on paper, but I feel that you know something else is going on behind the scenes. And it's not even, I did not even see this until I looked over to put the cards down. Look, it's a collaboration. People that you're dealing with, people that you're dealing with, you're investigating, you are investigating literally an autopsy, a body, for a case, wow. I remember every detail of that day. So, a case. Remembering every detail is important in the, in the court of law. Like on this day, how did this happen? What did their body look like? What did you sense? And or what did you find in someone's autopsy? I need stats, I need figures, I need to take everything to court. You're dealing with some kind of a court case. And you already know, you do, you know, but you also need to have those facts and figures and dates, times, etc. Because, you know, you're, you can't get anywhere in the court system without all of that, all of that. So, let me know. That's intense. I'm actually, I'm really intrigued. So, I feel like you're finding some information very intriguing that is going to come out. It's not coming out yet. You're working behind the scenes. All right, let's go to Virgo. Always comment, you guys. Let's have a convo. All right, Virgo. A tower moment, like an, a sudden breakup. We're done. It's over. Yeah, we're done. It's over. I tried to change this, but I couldn't. I tried to make things better, but I couldn't. Um, this is like, some of you lost a job. You're out of a job suddenly. Some of you got fired like out of the blue. It's like, oh my God, I just lost my job. Are you kidding me? I had no idea this was gonna happen. Some of you could have invested in a home and it ends up to be like a lemon. You're putting all this money into this home and you're like, shit, I didn't really expect this. Some of you are getting a, um, an eviction notice that you have to get out of your house right away. You have only like three days or three, no, not three days. I don't know if that's even possible. Three weeks to get out of your house. Look at this. I'm going to take it. I just saw it. Yep. This is a fight that has been happening. And you knew it. I'm going to tell you right now. You knew it. All right. So, some of you. Okay. I see it. Some of you are fighting about child support. Here's the father. And this is you, Virgo, right here. You are, you knew it was coming. I'm just gonna say it, you knew it was coming. You knew someone was going, was making the choice to leave, to walk. But how it happened was suddenly, a sudden breakup. We're done, I'm through, 
I'm leaving. Suddenly. Two fives. Could have happened in May. Or the last five days or the upcoming five days. So be mindful, Virgo, if you haven't had something sudden happen, it could be coming within the next five days. This week, right? The fifth of the month would be July 5th. I don't know. I, I don't feel that 100%, but they gave it to me for a reason. I also need to look at these two fives real quick for Virgo. Like, suddenly I lose my job. Suddenly I'm out of a relationship that broke my heart. Suddenly someone says some really nasty stuff to you, like truth serum of some sort, or you to them. Look at that. Not talking. Someone, you didn't see it coming. I'm telling you. I feel, Virgos, you might have felt something was going to happen, but you didn't know how it was going to go, how it was going to go down so fast. You might have had an inkling. You knew. Two, two full moons. Hello. Maybe the last full moon and this strawberry full moon gave you like feelings of becoming aware of someone being unhappy, someone not wanting to wait around, someone's been like trying to trying to make this work, but to no avail. Like maybe you tried over and over and over again to make this work or to change someone's mind. And it's just, it's not happening. It could be a, a love relationship. Okay. So it's a breakup. Someone suddenly says, I want a divorce. Someone suddenly says, I'm moving out. Or I lost my job. It's definitely one of a very quick decision was made, but it wasn't really a quick decision. It was quick in the action of the decision, but the decision's been coming for probably the last three to five years. I will wait for a sign from you. That's exactly what's happening. So Virgo, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you had, you had a sudden breakup with a relationship. You're hoping that they will give you a sign like on social media, you're waiting for someone to come back. I'm just saying, Virgos, don't wait forever because I don't know, I don't feel good about this. Look, this could have been a third party right here. Let's just look here real quick. I gotta look. A father, You're, you could be the father figure or someone's father said, Virgo, if you were dating someone and they, and they, you had a father figure that didn't like you or you don't like someone. You may not like, this is the lessons of karma coming back here. The father, I'm telling you, the full moon in Capricorn is shaking up some real truths. It's like anything could happen, and it did, or it's coming. So just be mindful. That's why we do these reads. We do these reads to give you like a heads up, right? Not saying that you already don't know, but for some of you, it's confirmation that it's definitely going to happen, or it already has. Yeah, okay. Something's definitely happening. Virgos, let me know. I'm so serious right now. Someone's loyalty may be in question. 
I'm telling you, you keep showing me this stuff. Okay. Someone may have had a third party for physical reasons, but didn't think monetarily they'd get kicked out. If they did, if you were having a, an affair or whatever, or you know of someone near and dear to you, uh, they just got kicked out. Or someone just got kicked out. I saw that tower again. Oh my gosh. Stop. Look. Spirit keeps telling me this storyline. All right. I can't even look at these cards because, <laughs> because I got to move on to, um, to Libra. Come on. Libra. Libra. What's going on with Libra? Libra. I love it. Property. Loss of money. Did some of you lose money? Are you waiting on money from a property? And you're like, I mean, I'm at the edge of my seat before I start yelling. Where's my money? Right? Are you not making enough? Are you in between jobs? Are you just trying to hold it together? Right? Just trying to hold it together. Yeah. You're like, where is it? <laughs> right? It's so true. Some of, some of what's, a lot of what's going on right now is, you know, is about money, the money sector, how we make our money, right? It's Capricorn, that full strawberry moon, being that we need to reconfigure how we make our money, what we do for a living. Are we doing, Libra, are we doing what we love for a living, right? And what is holding you back from like spouting out, which maybe some of you have already. If someone owes you money, you're like, I am like so much at trying to keep this shit together here. Right? Before, right? The fire of truth just comes out of your mouth. Like what the F? I'm serious. Look at this. Something about Definitely. You've been trying really hard to maintain. Look, you've been trying really hard to maintain a level of composure before you freak the fuck out. I mean, I, don't, I can't blame you. It's either, it could be a job or it's money that's owed to you <clears throat> on a house or property. Spirit just like cut me at the quick on my throat chakra because they're saying, just hang on, because it's going to change. It's going to go from the five to the palace. You're going to have the rewards and reaping those rewards. But if you freak out, you know, that could cause you more harm than good, let's just say. I mean, you know, we just have, to, right? You're like stuck. Look at You've been mentally in anguish, wanting to spout out, wanting, you know, you've been trying so hard to be really compassionate. Someone maybe thinks that you're, you know, you're the bank. Someone thinks that you have a shitload of money. Maybe people think that you're, that you're like free and easy about, you know, your finances or that because you look the way or you look maybe a certain way, you carry yourself a certain way. And so they automatically assume, right, that Libra is okay. When in actuality, Libra is saying, look, look at this. I'm totally stuck in this space of, look at two eights. Spirit saying, if you can just get out of your mental state of mind, meaning, the negative things that we say to ourselves with regards to what the fuck is going on with our money, 
it's it's coming right but sometimes what happens is we lose our you know we lose our temper i mean someone owes you money we lose our temper you know someone's um someone's like what the heck right someone owes you money on a property or maybe they're if you are selling a home or you're making money from home it's not enough to sustain a lifestyle that maybe you're used to maybe you have people constantly asking you for money because really i'm telling you they think that you have so much and my hair is like okay something about your hair maybe you want to chop off your hair because it's you know bugging you or you know how it we get crazy everyone does i'm not saying we as in libra only we get crazy as humanity sometimes the shit gets so real that we don't know, especially if we're talking with Libra. It's like, like I want to scream from the top of my lungs, but I'm trying to hold it back, holding back, because I don't want to look crazy, but I mean, I'm owed this money. I'm owed the respect and the time that I make what I do. Are you, do you feel devalued? Do you feel not worthy, not seen, not heard? Do you know what I mean? There's an issue here of, you know, de devaluation. Maybe someone constantly, someone can't see your value. Someone can't, someone doesn't really see your value, but they constantly criticize or they judge or they don't take you seriously. And you're like at your wit's end. I mean, there's a lot of scenarios, but the bottom line is the common denominator is you want justice in this and that's what happens right that's what happens i'm not saying it's just for libra that it happens but it came in your read for everyone who's watching this to know that we can only take so much until we break like someone constantly treating you like you know right like the doormat I don't think so, without question. See, we're trying to balance out our emotions for sure. Spirit's trying to help us. You, you've got spirits back, you know, spirit. Spirit's saying, hey, just hang on here. Hang on. Hang on, try to, I mean, gosh, dare I say, contain your emotions be strong. I don't know if that's even possible anymore. Seriously, the, the pain is just so deep. This brings back, and I'm going to tell you, the pain of not being seen, the pain of feeling or having others making us feel unworthy of our time and effort, the inability to to scream when we want and what we do is look at my hair i'm so sorry someone's saying that now some libra a beautiful libra out there is saying i need my bangs cut all right I, i'm just it just comes out i mean there's no reason for me to this this one side so it's like something's one-sided And so this pain, let's go back to that because I was messing with my hair too much. This pain brings back those memories that we have buried of P 
People don't see me. They never have, even when I was a kid. People didn't even, like, people did not value what I said, how I said it, what my thoughts were, how I, you know, how I brought valuable information to the table, how I've helped others um, through their hard times. They, you know, they never really saw you. I have to do that. I do. It's driving me nuts. So for some of you, your bangs are too long and you need definitely a haircut. All right. Now let's get back to what's really happening here. And that's spirit is trying to balance out people not valuing the Libran. Like you may almost feel like not talking. You almost may feel like um, you're not valued for what you do for a living, your job. You know, if I don't make X amount of dollars, people aren't going to talk to me or they'll leave or, or they somehow mentally try to get, you know, to get me pissed off. <laughs> you know what I mean? This, this guy's pissed off, but it's not for, it's not for any other reason but to show you, Libra, this is to show you that when the chips are down and people don't value or they don't pay you what you're worth or they always want, they always want to take. It is up to you to not breed, breed the pain of the past, of how you're really feeling, and maybe it's time to step up to the plate and in, in a very um, proactive, assertive, using your assertiveness, Leo, I said Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. You must use Libra, your assertion. You need to be assertive when it comes to how people look at you, how they value you, what they say, what they don't say, what they insinuate, all of that. If they don't see you, why is that a problem? Why does that bother you? And what part of your childhood is still healing from not being seen and not being heard? And, other, you know, it's coming around again, right? It's coming around. It, it's coming around again because you need to take, to, to take attention to the facts that no one holds us back but ourselves, right? I look, I look for you everywhere. So many things remind me of you. So it could be the loss of a partner, like literally still a loss maybe that is a physical loss. This could be the death of someone who has crossed over from three years ago or more, up to eight years. But I also feel that you're looking for not the, okay, so when it says so many things think, so many things remind me of you and I look for you everywhere, I feel that this is regarding what you're rightfully owed. I feel that you, there are so many things in life that bring us to a tipping point, if you will, of crazy. And this is where spirit is trying to teach you to keep your head on straight 
you know, this is a test for sure. It's Capricorn. It's, 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 um, full moon and cap is telling us, you know, chill out as crazy as things get mentally and or emotionally or financially, whatever is owed to you, whatever isn't given to you, whatever you're waiting on. And it's like, what the fuck? Uh, Libra, it's time to say, okay, so my bangs are too long. I need to go get them cut. It's that simple. It may not look simple, but somehow don't make it to be any more than you can fix this. Whatever that means, comment. <laughs> All right, Scorpios. That was a long, that was long, but it had to be said. Something had to be done. Something has to be done. Scorpios, the Empress. I love it. And wow, now you get the Eight of Swords in this deck. Scorpio, you have Gemini here, Libra Taurus, and your Scorpio card of you know what's holding you back or what's holding someone else back from like giving everything, like being all in. This is all in, but you're not sharing the all in because your mind is playing havoc. You feel, you may feel like you're stuck, right? You're in this, the high priestess is the one who holds back all of the mysteries of the universe. Why does she hold back the mysteries, the high priestess? Because she knows, but she knows what she needs to do in order to whatever, solve, solve, whatever in her life that is ailing or holding you back. Something's holding you back. And what's holding you back right now from going all in or being all in, Scorpio, is your head, your mindset. You're way too much in negativity. You're, you know, um, you're thinking, I really do feel you're thinking way too much about what could go wrong instead of just enjoying yourself, really. But you already know that you're doing it. Do you know what I mean? So I feel that you have good days and bad days. And, right? You have good days and bad days. And you know it. You know when you're thriving, Scorpio. You know when you're thriving and your, your energy needs to change. This empress is the alchemist and this high priestess is an alchemist. They both know how to change the energy of negativity. Uh, talking negative to yourself. I'm not talking about how you talk to others. Some of you, maybe it is the way you're thinking about yourself and others and I can't get out of this. I don't know, you know, all these thoughts. When's the next shoe going to drop? All of that is what's holding you back. And mental anguish is the, the worst kind because this is the ego. This is all your ego. You're being held back by, oh, well, th this happened to me, you know, whatever two years ago, three years ago, eight years ago, eight months ago, two months ago, three months ago. And I'm like, fearful. This is fear. You know, this is fear. But fear fears itself. And you know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I'm really not. So use your wisdom, use your power of alchemy and really and truly like you have the wisdom and the knowledge and the power. You just have to get out of your head and you have to get into your heart. 
head, heart, body, mind, body, I'm sorry, mind, body, soul. So the Trinity, the embodiment, once you get out of the ego of your ego of what can go wrong will go wrong, then you will set yourself free. Some of you are, some of you, if you got pregnant, Scorpio, or you're pregnant, you're worried that you're not going to keep it. So some of you feel like you're not going to be able to keep it. I feel something about a pregnancy for some of you. If you are a mother, if you're a mother, someone's holding back or you're holding a secret from maybe your kids or your family, right? Something's like a secret in the family. Two, three, and eight. Yeah, you're just allowing your, your mind to get the best of you. Yeah, look. If you have kids, you're holding a secret or someone's judging you because of a secret, right? And you're thinking, oh, I, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I get it now. You're worried that you spent a lot of time, a lot of time about, and re, like, it's kind of like you, you've done this, um, you've been thinking this is what you've been thinking. You're thinking, I'm so tired of dealing. Maybe you people are judging you and or misjudging you. Scorpio, what's going on? Maybe you were misjudged. And it's not necessarily a secret as it is like a fact. Someone misjudged your character. Someone misjudged, someone didn't trust you. They didn't believe you. And or it's vice versa, right? You're really tired. This is mental exhaustion. This is mental exhaustion over like past indiscretions, past you know, all right, so you made a mistake or what have you, you learn, you've learned. You're scared, I'm telling you, Scorpio, some of you are afraid that the past is coming back to, to haunt you to, to, or past mistakes are gonna happen again, right? The shoe dropping, for sure. Some of you are worried that, oh my God, it's gonna happen again, I'm just waiting for it. You know what I mean? The bubble burst. The only bubble that needs bursting is this mental exhaustion. This is mas masculine feminine. You're mentally exhausted from overthinking a situation instead of just using your intuition and letting bygones be bygones, right? Just let it go and let a relationship be guided by spirit. You're trying to take control here, Scorpio, and you need to let go. I'm serious. I lost myself for a while. That's it. That's it. Why can't we, literally, Scorpios, why can't we just say, I lost myself for a while. I had mental anguish, exhaustion. I didn't really, I couldn't let go of something that I didn't really want to talk about for a while. I kept it very quiet that, I, that I've been thinking maybe of someone way too much and I need to let bygones be bygones so I can live again and appreciate life and the energy of life that is given to me, for sure. Let me know. That's a great read, I'm just going to say. That's a really... I mean, the things that are happening for everyone right now 
is profound change. We are ever changing. If our energy is stagnant, we know it by what happens in our head space and in our body. All right, Sagis. Sag. Sagi, what's the upset? The end, right? The end. Some of you are not happy, but you're like traveling the world, having great cocktails. What's the deal? Why are we sad? Did they not make the cocktails good enough? I'm kidding. Seriously, you, some of you, a relationship has ended. I have Cancer, Scorpio, and then of course, the entire world, which I, I see as all the signs of the Zodiac. You are coming to a finality, a closure of something that was kind of like looked good, but someone looked good, but, and I feel you thought someone was the one, but they're not. Some of you are searching for the one right now, like kissing a lot of frogs. right? Some of you are traveling and hoping you meet someone really nice, maybe that could offer up, you know, maybe a job. Maybe some of you are looking for a job, but I feel the majority here is that something ended, it's final, and now you're back to, you're back on the market, single, and ready to mingle. And you know, the Seven of Cups, it does get confusing. You know what's confusing is every one of these cups has something different to offer. It's just, I mean, it's people. It's your emotions. Your emotions may be scattered because you're like, okay, so one person may really uh, have, okay, so let's just use, you know, one person could be very, um, abundantly fruitful, like their finances are really good, right? But do I want someone just because, you know, do I want someone? If you're single, Sagis, you need to understand how you attract, what you attract, whom you attract, and for what purpose. Each one of these cups holds a purpose of what you're looking for, right? I'm looking for someone who looks really good and has a lot of money. I'm looking for someone who's really good in bed. I'm looking for someone who really does have great communication. I'm looking for intellect. These seven cups, I just want you to think about and be mindful, more importantly, of what it is that when you're on the hunt, per se, when you're on the prowl, are, is someone fulfilling a void, filling a void? I digress, not fulfilling, or whatever, fulfilling. Is someone filling a void, Sagi, that is undeniably and consistently lead, let, letting you down is do we need someone to fill a void or can we find ourselves whole and not needing to fill a void as it is to embrace every idiosyncrasy of another's. Really be mindful. What attracts you to some of those cups? And the ones more importantly, most importantly, are the ones that have let you down. We learn 
from the letdown. We learn from the pain and the sorrow. Look at that. Absolutely. Someone got kicked to the curb like a sudden we're done. And spirit saying, you just have to follow what, what you have to follow. You have to follow your heart, but not to fill the void because you need to be whole before you start looking for someone out there. Write that song, someone out there. I don't know why I hear it. What it's um, isn't that Ron Stant? I don't know. Anyway, the point is, for you to fulfill a new life with love, you have to become whole and follow and do the work. Follow your heart. Follow source. Follow spirit. Follow that star, but. You have to understand that you have to be whole so that you're not filling a void and confused when you meet someone who fills seven out of the three cups. You want a ton of cups. We all want a ton of cups. But we have to become the ten of cups before we can fill the true cup that matters the most, which is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is not just the Holy Grail of an external love. It's the Holy Grail of your love and the love that you give. God saying to you, God saying, listen, if you keep, if you want this cup, You've got to maintain all 10 cups, not just seven. You're still trying to fill a void and you get kicked to the curb in terms of not literally, for some literally, but others, you just get like let down after let down after let down because all of these let downs are because spirits saying, I just want you to become whole. I want you to realize what it is that you truly want. This guy's looking right at that ace, the Holy Grail. And he's like, why do I keep falling short in love? And Spirit's saying, because you're trying to fulfill seven cups when you need to be the ten cups first. When we say add value in a relationship that means everything that we have within us is a value we use the 10 in tarot because of the number sequences is important right 10 is a new beginning you're at the seven and you're wondering why you keep getting let down you keep getting let down because you're not seeing what you bring, which is you need to work on yourself before you can fill, fulfill your cups first. Self-realization for sure. See, look, there it is. It's a letdown. Someone gets, someone gets told I'm done. It's quick. Or you're not happy and you're pretending to be. Some of you are pretending to be happy and you're drinking your sorrows. Some of you, and I'm going to say it, Saggy, some of you are having sex, but you have to have sex when you're drunk or you've had a couple drinks so that you can keep it together. Do you know how many people have sex? First of all, they don't like it with the person they're with. And maybe, you know, they just don't, they're not into it, right? Physically, you're not into someone's body or what have you. But in addition to that, someone needs to get drunk in order to have sex. Or someone just goes out to have sex, just, you know, going to the wrong places, right? 
going to the bars or, you know, whatever, the clubs. We will be together again. Some of you feel like you or the person that kicked you to the curb is coming back. I wish I had treated you better. So now it's a reflection. Now you're reflecting on your own self. I wish I had treated you better. Or someone that you kicked to the curb or they kicked to the curb, were they should have treated you better. That's hands down. But someone also feels, well, I treated you wrong and maybe you'll give me another chance. And that has come up for Saggy in one of my other reads or monthlies or something. Like an ex that kicked you to the curb is feeling really sorry for themselves because they didn't treat you right. And now you've moved on and unbeknownst to, the, to you, I mean, they're crying over spilled milk, which is all those cups. They're drinking their sorrows, I'm telling you. Your ex is drinking away the sorrows because they fucked up. Having a third party was in your read for a while. The ex-wife, the ex-husband is really reaping that karmic, you know, that karma. It sucks, but it's real. Okay. Um, comment, please. Uh, Capricorn. Let's go there. Capricorns. Ooh, the chariot. I like it. Some of you are traveling, getting ready to travel. You're going on a road trip. Some of you are very well connected closely with Archangel Michael, the truth teller, seeking your own truth, freedom. Freedom reigns here for sure. Some of you love sapphires. Some of you wear sapphires. Oh, and then we have what? The Seven of Swords. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you're traveling, if you're you know, going here and going there, don't believe everything you hear. When it comes to the time that someone is telling you they're going to give you and or the money they promise you they're going to give you. These are unkept promises, just saying. So don't believe what people are saying. Don't take it for faith. Take it, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, don't fuck up. Take it at face value. There's hidden motives with regards to what people are saying and doing and or not saying. It's work. It could be when you're, when you're traveling. Some of you could... I do hear some of you might get a flat tire, so maybe you should get it checked. One more here. Look at some whatever someone's telling you, just take it, take it lightly. Don't take it, just take it at face value because there's deeper, deeper uh, hidden meanings. Like you know how you know how people say stuff and it has like um. It has like a two meaning, right? Uh, there's there's a mm, there's a saying for that when someone is saying something, but it means something else. I can't remember the word to that, but be mindful of it. Be mindful of what people say and what people are not saying. Be mindful of what they're hiding. Is someone? telling you about money or a job opportunity or a collaboration of, of something involving money with work. Mm -mm. If there's anything about work and paperwork or you got to read the fine print here, contracts, you've got, I don't need the justice to feel that this needs uh, facts, figures, Ask questions. Someone is leaving out pertinent information. If you're buying a new car, ask questions. Did you look on, you know, um, 
did you do your research about getting a car? And you know, the best value for your buck is one thing, but best performance is another. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like you've got to, to cross your T's and dot your I's, especially when it comes to spending money, when it comes to being on vacation, when it comes to reading uh, contracts, writing contracts, um, uh, any kind of negotiation needs to be addressed in every aspect. Write it down, I don't care. If you're going for a job interview, write down every reason why you want the job. If it's not paying you enough, what's the future? Are they, are they beating around the bush about the potentiality of the future of you being at that job? Some of you may be contemplating doing Lyft or Uber or something like that just to some, you know, uh, sustain your income or an income. But you need to read the fine print and you need to hear what people are not saying. They're not saying stuff that you need to know. And Archangel Michael's coming in. Look, look at this. Archangel Michael has the sword of truth coming in, right? You may not even see. You may not be saying something. And Archangel Michael's coming in to say, listen, Cappies, someone's not telling you the truth. Someone's beating around the bush. Someone's telling you it's going to look a lot better than it is. Whatever that is means, you must know. We're in cancer season. Someone may not be telling you what they truly feel from their heart. They're just telling you their ego. They're showing you their ego really loud and clear. It speaks volumes. Oh, wow. This could be a relationship. Is someone promising you, right? Someone's promising you a new beginning. Someone's promising you an, an, a love. Someone, someone left someone high and dry. I feel like this card is like high and dry. Someone found out some shit and, and flew the coop. Someone got the F out. I'm serious. Yep, look at this. Someone left someone high and dry. Either high and dry or someone like said, I'm, they just literally said I'm out. Someone was not being truthful. Now, it could be about what, like what they do for a living. I don't know, catfish? I heard catfish. If you're dating, you're not getting the, the person that you're, that you're seeing. They're not who they say they are. I'm telling you, look at that. And you're worried. Maybe you were worried someone was gonna leave you. All right, for some of you, you were worried someone was gonna leave you. Maybe some of you are worried that you wanna go on vacation, a road trip by land or sea. And some of you, okay, here's, the, okay, I heard, I heard it. Some of you want to go like on this cruise. Maybe you want to go on a cruise, right? And you're looking and reading all the fine print and lo and behold, the cruise doesn't look so hot, right? But maybe a road trip looks better and you were worried that something, I feel that maybe um, psychically you were getting downloads that, or someone, just knows, don't go on that cruise. Someone is, someone knew someone was going to leave. Someone was worried that they were going to leave and they did. Someone lied 
and didn't tell the truth or didn't give someone money, stole money, took money, laundered money. And it's gonna, it's gonna come back to bite someone for sure. Yeah, it's coming. Watch what's gonna happen with that big pentacle. Someone owes money. Some of you, someone owes someone money, the other money. And they were worried about how they were gonna get it. Right? Oh, yes. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. If you're planning on going on a cruise or if you knew you knew someone was leaving, you knew what you did. Capricorn, you're right here. You might have meant for to not pay someone, to not tell someone to lie in a relationship. You you miss you you misrepresented or were misrepresented. You did not tell someone the truth for sure about money, about what you do with your time. If it's a job and it's a boss, someone you know, you may have left a work scenario, right? And now like, whatever, months later, you're finding out the truth of maybe the people you were working with, maybe an ex. Maybe you found the hidden motives of someone after the fact. This is big. This is really in intense because we have the full moon in Capricorn, strawberry moon. So... Your, this is big because whomever did this, whoever, whomever left and you knew it was going to happen, I feel, I almost feel for some of you, you wanted this to happen. I feel you and you did this. Look at they left. Yep. I'm telling you something about the water. You might have seen someone traveling over water. Or if you are thinking of traveling over water, Maybe it came to a halt. Look at three of cups. Or you're drinking. You're drinking. Maybe you're drinking a little more with friends, going out with friends and family because of what happened. You found out someone was lying, cheating, stealing manipulating or it was you I feel you knew what you what you did or what this was going to happen the way it happened you knew someone was going to leave if let's say Capricorn if you're a boss and you didn't pay someone what they were rightfully owed you knew someone was going to call you out on it in business partnership in love maybe someone had a third party and took off. Someone knows your secrets. You know theirs. There's a lot here. All right. We will be together again. Someone thinks that they can come back into the fold, right? The two of cups. So many things remind me of you. Now, that's interesting because I did get Scorpio. Uh, I, I said Scorpio, but I meant Saggy. 
So Scorpio and or Sag. Someone's coming back perhaps to tell you the truth about how they, what they really did, what they really felt and why they left. Okay. Someone or you want someone back. You may want someone back. And maybe you're going to tell someone why you did what you did and what the motive behind the reason, the motive behind the reason of what you did. You have three and three here. You have two threes. So if it's not in love, it's in business. Why you, you know, maybe you manipulated a situation, but it, you were doing it for a reason, but unbeknownst to them, they didn't know what you were doing it for, but now they will, right? Yeah, it's like someone's coming back to tell you why they why they screwed up, they fucked up, why they left. Aquarius. Oh, I love it when that happens. Aquarius. Oh, a match made in heaven. I love it. Very intellectual. A very intellectual, emotionally and intellectually, we're on point here. If you are with Aquarius, if you are with another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it could be an Aquarian, like two Aquarians, right? Could be. Or this is your masculine and feminine healing. Rising up. This is a match. Hopeful for the future. This is two people. Some you you could be with another air sign, but if you're not, this also is very important because your conversations are are focused on the emotional part of the relationship. Like you're talking to someone about how you feel about them. It's like two people feeling the same way and or, and or, that's important, healing the same way, right? Let me just get one card for Aquarius on the king and queen. Yeah, look at, this could be, this could be healing your childhood self. Some of you hopeful about a child. Some of you are gonna have a child that's blonde. Some of you are gonna have a child that's a Leo. Some of you have a child that's Leo. And there are times when this child acts out. Like this child is highly, highly intellectual. This child is, could be literally, I'm going to say it now, follow me here, Aquarius. This child could be a replication of a reincarnation of someone that you that you were married to in another lifetime and karmically they come in as your kid but they were your soulmate twin flame and they they're coming in or they are in your life to heal the the remnants of your past or and or past childhood this is all about freedom 
giving a child their freedom. Maybe some of you are giving your child the freedom to speak their mind, to speak their truth. Children speak their truth about stuff that they didn't or weren't able to speak of in the past. Like you're, you're starting a new beginning. Let's just say Aquarius. You're starting a new beginning and you have a child that's a Leo, right? And the Leo, you're, if you're a masculine Aquarius or even a feminine, I feel that you're actually now allowing yourself to drop, you need to drop all of your past garbage so that your child can heal, that you can heal, and that the person that you're with or comfortably coming into a union that's very much one flame, twins, can, can all heal together. Yeah, this is healing. So your healing, for some of you, it's your childhood. Your spouse, if it's your spouse, is dropping the past and moving forward to the future of being emotionally there for you. Maybe someone wasn't there emotionally, but I feel the masculine and feminine are really hopeful for the future now. Maybe you had a breakup and now you get back together and you're like, okay, now I really see what I need to see, whereas before I didn't. This is you couldn't see, this is you can see, this is you couldn't feel, this is you can feel, right? There's a definite polarity of not showing your feelings and being all in with your feelings. So that could have made and or broken a relationship at one time. And it could be with a child. So finally a child who could be really on the same page as you, Aquarius, is telling you exactly how they felt about maybe an ex breakup, maybe, you know, um, your child, or they're telling you about your child. Do you know what I mean? Someone could be expressing how they really feel about your child and, you know, how you are a parent, how you parent your child. Maybe they're bringing in new avenues of emotional stability. Maybe this is your child, um, the baby daddy is gone and now you're, getting hitched or you're with someone else who brings a um, real value of higher higher learning and emotional healing for that child. You know, this bugs me. Um, I have to tell you, Aquarius, that that it's really important. Uh, and I know and I don't I'm I know I'm not talking to every Aquarian, right? But I am going to say it for this reading. I feel that sometimes we when we let go, right? When we let go of you know, an ex. And I'm not saying that you're let's say married, right? Whatever. But when we let go of a baby daddy or an ex, that we're still healing from, a new person comes into our lives who is just perfect in the sense of what you've been looking for, right? A new person comes in to help you to grow and to teach the child maybe a different outlook, a different viewpoint, thoughts of emotional stability, or this person came into your life, Aquarius, 
to help you with your child to heal the ex situation, right? And now you're hopeful, whereas before you were hopeless. You know what I mean? So this child also brings a real sense of stability and freedom to be yourself. And I feel that you didn't, you didn't feel that way before. And what I'm, what's really being pointed out here, look at these. These are two, like, I don't know, not statues, but they're almost on guard. It's like guards in the vice versa deck. It's like you're guarding, this is you two, you're guarding you're, you're definitely guarding as parents, whether it's um, a stepdad, stepmom situation, you're guarding your child. And it's so crazy as readers how we, right? And then we have the Eye of Ra here, right? So this is a, a huge... Um, Guarding your kids, your children uh, against the evil eye, against people in politics, I heard. Any political viewpoints that, you know, that are being discussed. You're guarding a child against all the, like, darkness of society. And that gives the child strength to be themselves emotionally and mentally and as a family unit. It's important. It's very important. This is a beautiful reading. I feel you leaving me behind. So at one time, this was very true. That you felt someone was leaving you behind. I want you. So like I said before, you have, for some of you, you have reignited a relationship that once you had eclipsed out of your life, the baby mama, baby daddy, or a new relationship like with an ex, or maybe you got divorced and you now are trying to, you know, heal together as a couple once again. But I also feel a child felt left behind as well. Children feel left behind when one or both spouses or parents, I should say, are no longer spouses, right? They're not, let's say they love you as the child. You love your, we always love our kids. Even after divorce, the parents need to make sure and take care of protecting the child against all odds, of course. But this is someone who comes into your life either back again or comes back, comes into your life as the father, as a father figure, as a mother figure to allow for the healing, right? Someone really did, Aquarius, someone gave you your freedom to go do your thing and now they're coming back or before they are completely gone you're like I really want you back what do you think or a child like I said I feel the child is very significant Aquarius in in um, how you take care of a 
a disconnect from baby daddy, sorry, oh my God, to a new relationship and bringing in that becomes very much a transition. Okay, and Pisces. Pisces. Dealing with perhaps a Leo Aries Sag. Wow. Pisces, I just heard someone's going to come to you and say, I'm broken. About a child. Wow, Aquarius got child, but in a different way. Pisces, yours is different. If you have a child, you're, it could be you're broken, the baby daddy's gone. Maybe you're worried about the health and welfare of a child. Or someone's worried. Someone's very broken up about the pain, right? The pain of someone. Someone may not have their father. They may be absent. They may be on the other side. And your real concern is focusing in on this child's pain of losing their father or their father being absent. Or this could be a special needs child whom your brother-in-law could be saying, I'm worried about my kid. Let's see what's going on here, Pisces. This is deep. Yeah, look at it. Someone's worried about their kid's mental health. Mental and emotional health. And their child, like it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo, Aries, Sag. Or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, another water sign. Yeah, this is family. This is family. Pisces, this is family. A Leo Aries Sag that's in your family, like I said, brother-in-law, a brother, maybe a divorce is affecting a child's health, mentally and emotionally is affecting. And Pisces, you're hearing about it. Yeah, look at the mother. The mother's not mentally stable. Mother and child are not doing well. You may, Pisces, be having a convo with your brother-in-law or your brother. I don't feel it's anything. It's not like an uncle or whatever. I feel that the mental health and or and or emotional health of the mother of this child is weighing heavily or you're the mother of the child i feel that you feel someone's like really um dire straits look at that We now have a King of Pentacles reversed. Someone can't afford their kids. Someone can't afford to pay their kids. Someone is... The father doesn't... Someone can't be away from their kids. Look at the father and mother are reversed. I do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sag. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is like father, mother. I am telling you, the mental health of a child is, and emotional, is here a big, it's big. Yep. Spirit's trying to help. Pisces. So, someone is worried about, maybe they're worried that the mental health of the mother and or the father having or getting remarried perhaps or moving in together, perhaps. Maybe, um, Pisces, if you're getting ready to move in with, let's just say, you're getting ready to move in with someone and the kid's not mentally and emotionally happy about it, you, you could be a step, going into a step-parent type of vibe. Or the ex, The ex, someone's ex is broken hearted because you're moving on, Pisces. Or your child's not happy but hasn't expressed this unhappiness. Either about the child moving on or the emotional and or um, um, mental health of a child. Chocolate, are you okay? So it could even be a little doggy. There's, you know, chocolate's like in the corner. So this child could be acting out or like maybe at school they're in the corner. You know what I mean? Kind of like the outcast for some of you. Let's do the, let me just go deeper into the Page of Cups with the Three of Swords because someone feels left out. This is a child. I'm not joking. Mm -mm. I'm not joking. This is healing the masculine and feminine. You, it may be two kids. Water and air. Someone could be saying, I'm sorry, I fucked up. I didn't mean for us, you know, I didn't mean for this to happen, I'm sorry. I There was a third party right here. Or someone is, your ex is happily getting married, you are, and you know, the kids, there's kids, a masculine and feminine. There could be three kids or there's one child that's water and air, a mix. And or, okay, they're, tell, they're bringing me back to your childhood. The same thing happened, perhaps, Pisces, to you as a child as it's happening to you right now. The parents get divorced, they get remarried, the kids don't like who they married, there was a third party, potentially, we're just saying. Or someone's moving, like I said, someone, an ex or you are moving on, getting married, and the kids feel left out. There's three kids, we have two boys and a girl. or a boy and a girl.
the Empress and the King of Pentacles is reversed. So it could be not able to get over. There's three here and three here, right? Pisces. I know I'm giving you, yeah, someone feels like they're going to be judged for what they did. I know this feels like a full-on reading here. And I'm like already two hours into this. This is just the weekly. I love you. Oh, my God. All right. I love you with, there's, there's an ex who's moving on. You are remarrying and moving on, moving in, and your ex is upset. Your kids are upset that parents separated. A father is absent. A mother is absent. There was a third party, and the kids know it. being judged for one's heirs of their ways and saying goodbye, saying I love you, saying I'm sorry and I'll always love you. Pisces, please comment. That's a lot. I, I just feel like I do. I feel like we need to talk. I'm serious. What is going on, Pisces? All right, let's get a general with the karma cards real quick. As we know, karma is the energy of the universe, the give and take, the laws of cause and effect. So be mindful of how you... Treat others. The eleventh house. The eleventh house, it tells us about our circle of friends, our associates. It's Aquarius, right? So the eleventh house is being real honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself about your hopes, your wishes, your associations, what you deem to be your closest networking of, you know, peeps. And do you give for humanity's sake? Do you give the freedom that you choose to have in your life to others? And focusing in on the future and the hopes and wishes of the future and it's all for humanity's sake I send you guys so much love have a great week comment like subscribe and share take care